Okay, um, it seems like to me that the enchantments that are spoken of in the Bible are basically another name for drugs and, um, like hidden knowledge that they have that we don't, um, like medical knowledge and stuff like that are, are included probably in the term enchantments there, um, any kind of magic, um, but, uh, they are, as far as I can tell, um, they all do drugs from, as far as I can tell from the basic, I mean, they ship a lot of cocaine, um, and they basically all do drugs like cocaine and opium, um, opium's the painkiller, of course, that they used in China, um, during the opium wars to make it to where they could work and work and work, work their lives away without feeling pain. But to get the pleasure and the lack of pain, they had to do more and more opium as they lived their lives to where the, many of them died very early um, in China um, during the opium wars. So, um, but anyway, uh, they still do drugs. Um, it's the white man versus, it's the white man versus the Gentile. It's the Gentile versus the rest of the world, I'm starting to think, um, because they put everybody on drugs, um, that could be beneficial to them that way, um, to work more and more and be given less and less except for drugs. Um, but, uh, they have created, um, ways you can see with cocaine how they take uh, a shots of cocaine um you can see that or heroin or whatever um that they've done it so they don't have to withdraw from it um it's in a high enough dosage in their system is my guess that they have to inject it directly to keep from withdrawing from it um and they can do the injections, uh, follow the injections, but I think they've got more than that involved with it. I think they've involved blood in it, human blood, and a lot of people think that's only for the adrenochrome. I think it's for more than the adrenochrome. I think that children's adrenaline is maybe a thing, maybe, but I think that the real reason why they're carrying around crates of blood with them is because they intend on flushing the drug out of their system, for some reason, um, which they've, like, if you do marijuana, they have an instant marijuana detox, um, but if you do cocaine, they don't have that type of a detox, I don't think, because the drug is so strong, um, so the only way to detox from it would be to change your blood around to where your blood didn't have it in it, um, and they probably have found a way to do that to where they can lessen, lessen the dosage um, in a way that doesn't cause them withdrawal symptoms, and they, they do this using needles, is my guess, or, or that they want a high level of cocaine in their system for some reason, they could do that using needles also, so to, to come off from it or go on it, um, but you can understand why they would carry blood around, um, because that immediately, immediately takes the cocaine out of your system, to where you wouldn't, wouldn't have to withdraw from it. Um, I don't know if there's any examples I could give of, um, times in medicine where they do stuff like that or not, but, uh, because I'm, I'm not, I'm not any, I'm just a normal person, you know what I'm saying? But I think that's what they're doing with the needles. Um, and I think Satan has developed a way to use drugs and not get in trouble, basically, um, from it, uh, because, uh, normal people have withdrawn from drugs before, and there's ways to make the withdrawal less bad, um, and I think that's what Satan has done, he's made his withdrawals less bad, and he's also used magic in other ways, like devices, um, that's not really magic, it's just hidden knowledge, but they use devices to make stuff, like, uh, I would say, I would say they use devices to make our, uh, clothing, but I can't prove it because, like, I have tried to crochet tops and crochet skirts, and I have crochet tops and skirts, 
but it takes like six hours for a top and it takes like eight hours for a skirt um and that's moving at a decent pace um but uh <clears throat> they'll use chinese workers like that and make stuff fast but uh they use machines on it uh now to make material um and i'm i'm i wouldn't call that an enchantment but i kind of would <clears throat> because it reminds me of something i've read in the bible <clears throat> of um all their enchantments you know they're they're not just drugs there are other ways to do stuff faster and better um and bigger anyway but they say fine clothes um in the bible jesus is against just like he's against lawyers but uh he's not entirely against lawyers but he's against them making a higher rate and stuff like that but um Jesus has some some things to say about lawyers and fine clothes and stuff like that. He's against fine clothes, um, which is weird that that you would think you wouldn't think that. But uh, apparently, they use some kind of enchantment which requires extra extra work, not less work. Um, but it it requires. I I don't know that it would require less work. It might require more blood. Um, more work from people that are going to die from opium, stuff like that. Um, but anyway, the devices are supposed to flourish that the Antichrist uses too. So, um, they are, they are definitely flourishing. Um, people want to buy them. Um, people find them very useful. And, uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm impressed with the, the devices they use too, but it's still wrong for some reason, it's still wrong. I don't know if it's because of greed or because of witchcraft or what. I think it's the witchcraft. But I think that they uh, build these machines. And I think they use some kind of witchcraft to do it. Which is costing people blood. It's costing people, you know, their life. Their life. Or whatever. They, the guy that takes the opium or the cocaine. There's just too much cocaine going around. There's, They've got to be using it for something. And I think they are. I think they're using it to do work faster. And I think they're trying to trying to transplant blood to where the blood takes the place of the the cocaine filled blood. I think I think that's they're trying to do that. I'm not sure though. 